now comes the parents. When your children are getting married, make it easy. Don't make it difficult. How do I make it easy? There are many ways of getting married. There is not one way in Islam. Many ways. Proposal can come from this side. The girl's family can insist or they can propose. Please, we have a daughter. We are interested. It's very good to do that. Nothing wrong at all. Sometimes the boy's side can come and say, you know, we have a son. We are interested in your daughter. Please. They can say yes. They can say no. If they say no, it's not the end of the world. You can push off somewhere else. You might get something better. Subhanallah. But it needs to start. And sometimes after 10, 15 requests, one whom you are supposed to be with, they will agree, accept, and you move forward in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it's not wrong for your son or daughter to come to you and to say, Dad, I want to marry someone. Hey, who are you to come and suggest you want to marry? Are you not a good girl? You're a Muslim. How could you do that? Astaghfirullah. My father, my beloved parents, wake up and smell the coffee. We are Muslimin. There is nothing wrong in a woman herself showing interest to marry someone. Don't be embarrassed. Take it up. Allah is going to ask you if what they are asking you to do is fair and acceptable in the eyes of Allah. Why do you want to block it? Why do you want to stop it? Your duty and your job is to facilitate what Allah has allowed. Sometimes we fail dismally because we did not adopt what Allah said. We are following our whims and fancies and our desires. We are following our whims and fancies. Wallahi. And Allah says, hang on, I gave you a child. You knew that you had to bring this child up. You knew that you had to follow our way. But when it came to marriage, you did not do that. You followed your own way. What did you do? You destroyed the child's life in a lot of cases. Destroyed the child. I have come across thousands of cases where people after marriage, they say, and I'm talking about thousands, not hundreds. It used to be tens, then hundreds, now it's thousands. They say, I really didn't want to marry this person, but my father pushed me to do it. How? I think that father is going to stand on the day of judgment. He's not going to have an answer to Allah. I forced. What did you force? What did you do? How would you feel if your wife told you or your husband told you 10 years later, I never wanted to marry you. It was a big mistake. I was forced by my mother or my father. And we think that is Islam. And we think that is what Allah wants from us. You guide them. You were supposed to have guided them. You did not play a role in their life until the last minute. And then you came up and you want to suddenly push your way. Had, if you had a good relationship from the beginning with your child, they would have made you a part of their decision from the beginning. But no, you did not want that. What you wanted is, you wanted that you just come where it suits you in their lives, impose certain matters and walk off. Make their lives difficult. And Allah says, you know, facilitate it. You facilitate it, it will become halal. Another problem we have in our communities across the globe, Muslims are guilty. What do we do? We delay the nikah. The people are ready to get married. Girl side is happy. Boy side is happy. When are you getting married? After two years. Two years for what? That two years is a window period for zina and adultery and nothing else. That's why you are not supposed to delay the nikah. Once it's ready, just like janaza. Janaza is there. What are you waiting for? No, two years. Family hasn't come. They are coming next week. If it was that they are coming soon, few hours, maybe perhaps we can wait. But you want to wait for one week? For what? Which Allah has told you to do that? Are you following what I'm saying? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. So don't delay the nikah for no reason. We need to know this. It is very important. It is a powerful message. Because it's not up to me, it's up to Allah. Allah, cho Allah told me what to do. I need to follow what Allah says. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, if your child is really going astray and they are really doing something that is not even acceptable in the eyes of Allah, then you might want to be a little bit firm in the way you guide them. That's not wrong, but unreasonable. I've come across people who grew up together their child wants to marry either sometimes it's even a family member, sometimes it's a business associate, sometimes it's someone just because they have a different origin, ethnicity, etc. They just say, no, I'm not interested. No ways. No ways. 
And you don't know the boy and the girl have had a relationship for so long before they involved you in it because they were scared of you. You don't even know that. And you just came in suddenly one day and you said no. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and guidance and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors.